What's going on people? Fame Entertainment here from the Inner Circle. Like, share, subscribe, and let your voice be heard. This is like the third time I had to make this video. Take four. Now, like I said, it is the, the fourth. Take four. I've, I've had so many issues with my setup and it's ridiculous. But uh, on to today's topic. So we just recently, well not recently, a few weeks ago we got the uh, Nintendo Switch video which everyone was so enamored with and you know, people look excited that the, I guess that will be the ninth generation console has been revealed and Nintendo fans everywhere are shouting through the rooftop, switch, 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 gang, and, and all that nonsense. And then you guys know in September we got the PlayStation Pro, a uh, PlayStation 4 Pro reveal. A lot of people were, were bored with it and for thinking they would see new games, but it was all about the hardware. And so uh, Nintendo used a video, a little montage to show off their hardware. Uh, Sony with the PlayStation 4 had a uh, had their own separate event to show off their hardware. Now, with that being said, I think Microsoft will would benefit from having a separate event that's not excuse me that's not E3 to show off the hardware for Project Scorpio. Now, when we get to E3, people want to see games. Fill fill your 90 minute slot whatever can be fill it up with games. That's what gamers care about the most. Games yes, new hardware is amazing. People love, you know, new hardware, but at the end of the day, people care about the games. And I think Microsoft would truly benefit from having an event. You know, I, I wouldn't say do a montage like Nintendo did, but more closer to what Sony did with the Pro. Have a separate event that's, you know, before E3 to show off the hardware. Talk about the benefits of the hardware, so some side-by-side uh, -side, um, video between the Xbox One S and Project Scorpio. Um, pricing, you get all that out of the way at a separate event. That way at E3, you can say, okay, now that you know about the hardware, this is what comes along with it. You know, you can even do, uh, talk about uh, the VR aspects of it at E3, but focus E3 on the games and do a separate event for the hardware. Now, if Microsoft does wait to E3 uh, to show the hardware, that's great. You know, I'm not going to say, oh, uh, I'm, I'm upset about it. You know, I'm really looking forward to seeing the hardware. But I think Microsoft could really benefit from letting E3 2017 be all about the games. Now, E3 2016, they did reveal the uh, Xbox One S and then the Design Lab, which didn't take up too much time. And they did kind of show us a bunch of games that we already knew about. So E3 2017, they can really focus on games that are not out yet because you know, by that time, uh, Scalebound would have already been out. Hopefully... Hopefully, Crackdown 3 is out or about to release within the next couple of days you know, or the next couple of weeks. Um, but showing us, focusing on new uh, new games, new IPs. You know, if, even if you want to talk about, you know, go into the, the VR aspect to show us what VR games we can expect, you know, on Project Core. That would be amazing. But I really think Microsoft cannot wait. They cannot wait. Well, I'm not saying, I'm saying they can't, but they should not wait until E3 2017 to show us Project Scorpio. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. This is Fame Entertainment from the Inner Circle. You guys have a great one. And I'm out.